Today we're going to take a look at a few accessories for the Honda Rancher. Everything from a skid plate to A-arm guards, wheels and tires, plus a winch too. Sometimes it's hard to picture in your head what a certain setup will look like on a specific model, so if you guys like these videos where we quickly cover what some of your possibilities are when modifying X, Y, or Z model, I'll continue to make this style of video too. And if you'd like to learn more about what makes the Recon, Rancher, Foreman, or Rubicon special and what sets them apart from each other, check out some of my past review videos where we go over everything you need to know about Honda's ATV model line. Up. And before we get into some Honda ATV accessory options though, if you see something you like or want more information on, I'll have links down in the description and some of the discount options may save you a few bucks too, all while supporting the channel in the process. And speaking of supporting the channel, if you find any info I share helpful, please hit that like button and leave a comment below for the algorithm. We'll start off first with the wheels and the stock 12 inch steel setup was swapped out in favor of these 14 inch ST4 wheels made by System 3. Off-road. And if you don't like the red accents on these aluminum wheels, they are also offered with blue in place of the red or your standard black and machined combo. Then to replace the stock 24 inch Maxxis tires, you have these 8 ply 27 inch EFX Moto Claw radial tires, which definitely help give the rancher a more aggressive stance. Personally, I think this squared setup looks pretty good in the black with the red accents go really well with the gray resin color on this rancher, but what do you guys think about it? Up next is one of the most common accessories thrown on an ATV and for good reason, because nobody likes to be stuck. It has a worn 2500 pound winch that's tucked up out of the way and your controller is mounted up on the handlebar for easy access. Then we have some protection pieces and all of these are OEM Honda accessories. First up are the .125 inch thick aluminum A-arm guards and since this is an independent rear suspension model, you've not only got guards for the front but for the rear as well for added protection over a stock machine. Up next is a .16 inch thick aluminum frame skid plate with recessed areas for mounting bolts to try and help save you from future headaches and access holes as well to make your life a little easier when doing maintenance. It comes all the way up to the front as you can see here and then in the back it stops at this point so if you're wanting something more than the factory skid plate here, you've got a separate piece that I'll link below as well. And that's everything when it comes to parts and accessories installed on this Honda Rancher. What do you guys think about this setup? And if it was yours, what would you modify next? Let me know what you're thinking down in the comments section and I'll be joining in on the conversation too. Thanks again for watching and supporting all of this. I really appreciate it guys and we'll see you in the next one. But first, I wanna take a quick second and say thank you to Southern Honda Power Sports for opening their doors to me and allowing me to come pick through their inventory for these videos. They are a massive Honda Power Sports dealer here in Chattanooga, Tennessee with tons of inventory from new Hondas to used Harleys and everything in between that they sell to people from all over the USA. So check out the link in the description below and head over to their website to see if they can save you some money on your next toy.